I'm here with our professor and head coach at Miller Martial Arts and Fitness in Bonaire, Georgia. This is Professor Cole Miller. He is a second degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. First question, how long have you been training? I have been training since summer of 2003. 16 years? 16 years almost, yeah. What rank are you? Wow. What's your degree and how long have you been at your, your current rank? I'm a second degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. That means that I have been a black belt for uh, six years now, a little over six years. What got you into Jiu Jitsu or mixed martial arts? I first got into Jiu Jitsu and mixed martial arts when I saw UFC 1 in 1993 when the event happened. Uh, my dad, my granddad, my brother Micah, we watched it on like the old uh, cable box uh, pay-per-view. You like punched in some numbers on the, the cable box and uh, we watched it live and um, my dad was super interested in it because he knew a little bit about what submissions uh, were even back then and he wrestled in high school and he um, had kickboxed and, and trained other striking martial arts before and uh, my granddad was a, a big uh, boxing fan um, in that the late 80s, early and mid 90s. Um, and we checked it out and, you know, we all saw what happened with uh, Hoist, you know, winning the tournament and that was my first exposure to it. I thought it was dope. I thought arm bars and chokes were awesome. And just to see a guy like Hoist crush the competition and the, the different weight categories, but most importantly, back then, the different martial arts, it was like very, it was more clear to see that Jiu Jitsu was the uh, supreme and most dominant martial art on, the, on earth. Who are your top three favorite Jiu Jitsu or MMA fighters, competitors, etc.? Uh, top three Jiu Jitsu fighters um, of all time. I think that I'll go with Marcelo Garcia, Lucas Lepre, and Bruno Malpasini. Um, Jiu Jitsu for mixed martial arts. Uh, I probably got to go with like BJ Penn, um, the OG Hoist Gracie. And then Kazushi Sakuraba, he's a catch wrestler, a submission wrestler, not really a, a jiu-jitsu fighter, but he's probably, he's up there. Uh, maybe a, another third jiu-jitsu fighter is uh, Nick Diaz. What's your favorite part about jiu-jitsu or mixed martial arts? Favorite part about jiu-jitsu is, I just like to, I like all the moves. I'm a nerd. I like all the moves. I like the endless ways that one can combine the moves. I like how different people have different things that they like to do. I like how different people discover different details. And I, I like that it's for everybody. It, it's for everybody and it's not for her. There's gonna be somebody that gets on the mat and it, it freaks them out. So I don't mean to see it, say it's literally for everybody. There's gonna be somebody that doesn't like it or um, you know, it's not for them, but all types of people can do jiu-jitsu. Like people who have, um, uh, limitations, you know, like uh, visually impaired, hearing impaired, uh, amputees. Um, there's like people that are fat. There's people that are skinny. There's people that are tall. There's people that are short. There's uh, males. There's females. There's people that are young. We have like here, we have kids that start at four years old. But then there's people that are older. Like I've got some friends that are 70 plus years old that are, you know, still training. Like not just on the mat, but they're literally rolling with people. Now they might not be going like all out against, you know, a, you know, a 20 year old blue belt who was a D1 All-American. They might not be getting after, but they're actually physically rolling on the mat. I think that that's so cool. And I think that that's the best thing about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, my favorite thing about mixed martial arts is fighting. Like I just like, I like it. I like to be in, I don't care about sparring. Like that's training. I like to be, in the ring when it's for real or the kit or a cage what whatever uh avenue that is or just on a on a mat or in the street whatever it is you know like i like to be there uh putting myself to the test against another person and there's only a third man in there just to save one of the two of us but like that's for me that's the best thing i like about mixed martial arts is the actual fighting and for jiu-jitsu i like all the other benefits of it how do you feel jiu-jitsu or mma or both has improved your life inside and outside? Mm, both Jiu Jitsu and mixed martial arts have uh, improved my life um, immensely. I think that I get a lot of benefit out of training these martial arts. I think that like I've learned to become more humble, um, 
when you get involved with a martial art like this, you're going to be the nail. If you ever want to be the hammer, you're going to have to have been the nail for a long time. Um, nobody is good at fighting if they've never trained fighting. Like you might have somebody who's strong or fast or maybe somebody who has a natural speed or punching power or a good hand-eye coordination. You can have somebody who has athletic or physical attributes, but they're not good. You can't be good unless you've ever done something. So you're gonna have to be the nail. And so like, you're gonna get humility from training martial arts. Um, you're gonna be able to become a more calm person. You're gonna be able to uh, deal with uh, very quick, active thinking, problem solving on a level, you know, off the mat. Because if you're having to come up with something to do in less than a, a second, like half a second, when someone's trying to do something to you and you gotta figure out how to solve that, that equation, so to speak, then when other problems happen, like outside in the real world, they're almost um, they're like trivial, they're nothing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you get, there's immense benefits from training martial arts. You can like go online and just put benefits of martial arts and you're gonna see a big list and they're, they're all true. You're gonna gain physical strength. You're gonna gain uh, flexibility you're gonna gain confidence, you're gonna gain um, the actual ability to defend yourself if you you know you train the right martial arts under the right instructor. You're gonna have a new um, and a good like team or fa uh, new family, like a good friendly environment to train in if you're training at the right establishment. Um, you're gonna achieve new milestones, you're gonna get better at goal setting. I mean, once you, once you dive into this, it's gonna consume you. Um, if you do it the right way and you're training at the right place. Um, so all those benefits, if you just look up benefits of martial arts, I've gotten all, every single one of them. Outside of the, out of the mat, the ring, the cage, what inspires you to keep going and keep pushing or to get in the cage and keep fighting? Um, I think that for me, when it comes to like inspiration for fighting or competing, um, it's just that like I, I like to be in there I, I don't might kind of sound awful but like the fans mean absolutely nothing to me like I, I fought in front of 200 people you know and I fought in like arenas that are packed with 15,000 people um, they mean zero to me like I the what matters to me is like the fight and when I get to go in that that platform that I'm fighting in and there's nothing but me and and really me. It's not, there's another person present, but it's just me. I really feel like I'm competing with myself and I have to take the martial arts that I train. I have to put them to the test against another individual. That's the inspiration. There's no um, fighting for my family. There's no, uh, you know, trying to make it or whatever that means. I like the fight. That's the, all the, the motivation and inspiration I need. There's. Um, there's people that need things to motivate them, you know, but when it comes to fighting, I mean, the, the, the reward is in the fight. It's not, it's not these other things. It's not like the, the money and it's not the fame and it's not going to be, um, like providing my family with a better lifestyle or anything like that. I, I, I could do a lot of different things to, to make money. Um, I'm not limited to, uh, climbing myself out of this hole you know what I'm saying like I, I I've done already a lot in fighting but whenever I started and I was not being paid to fight I was just like I'm just gonna do this for as long as I can so um, the reward is the fight I need no motivation I need no inspiration except for the fight itself and um, as far as like motivation to train it's the same the training is is the reward like I, I don't like I want to go in there and I do want to better myself and all those benefits that we talk about that you get from training martial arts, you get them from training. So you need to get there and get on the mat. What are your goals for jiu-jitsu and mixed martial arts? Goals for Brazilian jiu-jitsu is to constantly develop my skills um, if I'm going to be competing again for sure. But so if you're training for competition, it's just to take the skills the next level I, I want to be up to date with the things that people are doing um, even if I don't choose to do those things that are being done in the modern era I need to know what they are so when they're being done to me how can I stifle those things how can I uh, put my strengths 
on their game. So it's like, I, I want to stay caught up. I want to stay up to date. So as far as like the goals, it's like, I, I need to do whatever's being done. Like I said before, I'm a, I'm a nerd. So I like to discover all the different games. I want to be a good instructor as well. So for me, you can go a couple of different ways as how like you want to teach. You can teach what you know and what you know works, which I think that that's great. Like people that do that, they kind of only teach their game to their students and their students end up being awesome. But when you go and roll in the room, everybody has the same type of game. They might have, they might change the way they do certain combinations of moves, but they all have the same moves. Um, I think that that's awesome because you know that every single one of your students is going to be super strong at those things that you showed shown them. But then more like how I am, since I'm like more of a nerd and I like to play all the games, I like to teach all the games too. So I want my students to be able to kind of like pick and choose and like discard the things that they thought didn't work for them as well. And the things that do work well for them, even though that they, they may not work well for me, I'm still going to kind of retain that in my memory bank so that way I can show them. So I'm always looking to be a better instructor. I'm always looking to train hard so that way um, I can stay sharp for when I choose to compete again. And for mixed martial arts, it's no different. You know, I want to be a good teacher, so I need to stay sharp. I need to teach techniques that actually do work, um, whether it be for self-defense or for um, a mixed martial arts bout or for a boxing or Muay Thai kickboxing bout or a jiu-jitsu bout or a combat jiu-jitsu bout. Um, just try to be the best uh, teacher I can. And when I do that, my skills stay sharp as well. What do you want your kids, family, friends, and anybody watching this to take away from what you're doing? If, for me, my family has to train. Um, my son is gonna have to be a Jiu Jitsu black belt. He does not have to be a mixed martial arts fighter. In fact, I would prefer that he not be, but if that's the route that he chooses, that's fine. But training martial arts, like I we talked about before, like the benefits are, I mean, they're endless. So like, why would you not do something that's that awesome for you? And I personally believe that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the best martial art. Um, even if you're not my family, if you're a friend or uh, you're just somebody seeing this, maybe you've heard about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu before, you need to be training. Um, and for people that say, well, you know, I don't have a place near me. First off, you probably do. And second, if you really do not, maybe you live like middle of nowhere or, or the sticks and you gotta drive 90 minutes to train, do it twice a week. I mean, I used to do that. I used to drive 90 minutes three times a week and then 45 minutes twice a week. When I had first got down to Coconut Creek to um, uh, train with American Top Team, I wasn't living in Coconut Creek. I was living in like Miami Shores. And around 5, 6 p.m. when evening training starts, that's also uh, the middle of that rush hour traffic, it could take me anywhere between 45 minutes or two and a half hours to get to Coconut Creek. I was doing that twice a day sometimes. I know that that was my job. I know that that was my, my life's passion. But if you're out there and you want you say that you want to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and you've heard about how awesome it is and you've got to have a little bit of a commute, do it. Um, if you felt like maybe you trained somewhere and it wasn't like the right experience for you, that can happen. Um, maybe like the, the teacher, you didn't gel with that individual or the instructor or maybe the, the, the way the vibe was with the rest of the academy, maybe they weren't very friendly to visitors. That's not how um, all Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu schools are. So. Try one until you get the one that you like. I think that that's another thing that's super important. I think that people go to one school and they think that they're stuck with that. Like if you have if you have a school that's 15 minutes from you, you got a school that's five minutes from you, and you got a school that's 30 minutes from you, and you go to the five minute one and that's not the right spot, don't give up, go to the one 15 minutes away. If that's not the right one, go to the one 30 minutes away. And that's all I'll say is whatever it is that you need to do to be able to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, get out there and try it. When's the next time we'll see you compete on the mat, in the ring, or in the cage? Next time you'll see me compete will be this year in 2019. Excellent. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. Very good.